Hi and welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you so much for joining me here, guys. Let's get you your messages. Collective energy. I hope you're all doing amazing, guys. Let's go. Collective energy, please. And thank you. Collective. She of the Lotus. Realm Bridger. Hmm. Your vulnerability. You've evolved. You're blossoming. You're opening up. You're reaching other, other realms. But it is your vulnerability that's your best attribute you know that being vulnerable being vulnerable to experience new things or vul vulnerability is great but you've evolved crystal keys yeah expressing your truth this is transformation You're on the journey to wholeness. Look at you. Feeling whole. Feeling complete. Good on you. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you so much for this evolution that you've been on. What a journey that I can take with you and watch your transformations, guys. It's beautiful energy. Collective energy. Here you are in the energy of attraction. Amplifies all the qualities that attract and support us on our journey. So you're, look at you, it's your authenticity, it's your honesty, it's your grace, it's your integrity. It's your vulnerability. It's your openness. This is you being open and honest and graceful and full of integrity. So these are your strengths. They are not weaknesses. Some people look at vulnerability as being a weakness. It isn't. It just means you're innocent. You're graceful. You're honest. You're authentic. There is nothing wrong with being vulnerable. If you weren't vulnerable, you wouldn't be able to attract. It's just you're honest, you're graceful, you're full of respect and integrity, which is a huge attraction. That's why things are attracted to you. I love your energy. But you've evolved. Now, let's go to this deck and see what this person's up to. They're trying to communicate with you telepathically. They're drinking or doing some substances to escape as a form of escapism. Desperate. I need answers. Talk to me. I'm going mad trying to understand, and I believe it. Collective energy, no escape. It doesn't matter how far I am from you, my heart always runs back to you. They want a reconciliation. Working up the courage to ask you out. They feel trapped by their circumstances. They feel helpless because they keep overthinking and overanalyzing. They are driving themselves crazy because thoughts of you keep consuming them. They can't move on. It's not the right time, but this person thinks that it they're worth it. <laughs> thinking they're hoping 
you would wait for them, but they're undecided. They, because they don't know what to do. So this person was dating, they're dating other people. Make them prove it, they will call. But this person is on the verge. It's like, for a while, this person just shut down. They did not know what they want. They didn't know what they wanted out of a relationship. They didn't know if this, they went fantasizing with flings and rebounds, pretending that they moved on. But you will forever change this person. They've been drinking with their buddies and partying and flings and wild things. But I didn't realize how empty my life would be until you left me. The waiting game. This person is up late at night thinking you thinking of you. It says, thoughts of you keep me up at night. Even if I fall asleep, I dream of you. This person might be taking a time out from whatever they're doing. Because they're reflecting. They want one last chance. That's what they're thinking. Whether they work up the courage or not, that's another thing. They're up late night thinking of you, but they can't make it up. Trying to work up the courage. They're driving themselves crazy. They're like about to erupt. It's like they want time to think. They can't stop thinking about you. They know they hurt you. They know they did. They're spying on you online, looking at your photographs, or there's some kind of memories here. This person's doing the great escape. That's what they're doing. They're overthinking, overanalyzing. They can't get you out of their mind. They're trying to work up the courage. But they're, they could be thinking you're going to reject them. You're going to avoid them, push them away. Um, they're like, they could have pushed you away. They could have been dating. They could have been... But they can't forget you. It's like... They know they betrayed you. They know they hurt you. They know they got to do something fair. But this person was undecided. They didn't know what they wanted out of a relationship. They did not know. This person put you in a competition. They did. And now they're trapped in their circumstances. They want to leave. They want to return to you. They see you as home. Period. They have to learn a valuable lesson, I'm telling you. Maybe they... They could have been hiding things from you. It could have been fear of commitment. It could have been fear of whatever. This person is self-medicating or they're up late at night. They can't get you off their mind. They're thinking about you. They could be angry at you or thinking that you're still really angry at them. They 
want one last chance or something like this. They want to come toward you, but they know they've hurt you. They hate the fact that they've hurt you. And they I think they hate themselves. I think that they hate the fact that they got themselves trapped wherever they got trapped. Or they're thinking you're going to hate their guts. I don't know. This person regrets hurting you. It's like... They were, they're self-medicating. They manipulated you and damned, I don't know, they were in this devil energy and it's like, they're just thinking, you know, wait. This is a foolish decision that they made flings I don't know just made a mess of everything that's what they made they made a mess of everything so they messed up your relationship. They've messed up their own lives. They've met everywhere this person goes seems to leave a trail of destruction. Just to be real. It's because they're confused. It's because they overanalyze. It's because they overthink everything. They are always wheels are turning. What if, what if, what if, this, that, the other thing. They're driving themselves insane. They are. They're emotionally unstable. They know... Th oh my God. Oh my God, I can't stand their energy. My head's spinning. They're everywhere. No wonder this person drove you nuts. They're driving them. Now they don't have you to drive nuts. They're driving themselves nuts. I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you're going to be waiting. So if you want this person back, don't wait for them. Go live your life. Because it's like, I don't know how they know if they're spying or they telepathically are communicating with you or spying on you. But they know damn well if you're waiting or if you're not waiting. That's why in a lot of reads it comes out that um, as soon as you move on they come in. They know. I don't know how they know, but they know. They're missing you.
They've been pushing your buttons, man, I'm telling you. If you are returning, Spirit is saying, take it slow. Maybe you just want a friendship with this person. Maybe you can't even be their lover anymore. I don't know. Only you can answer that. Some of you, you don't want them as a friend. You don't want them as a lover. And you're just plain done. And you've already moved on. Some of you are waiting for this person to return. But they know you're waiting. So if you want them, don't wait. That's what it's telling you. Yeah, they want to return. But one last chance, you know? stable are they? You'd have to really assess the situation. You know? So I'm telling you their energy is scattered all over the place. Take care.